Lady Holly. Look, we're only two miles from town. Well, I'll never make it. You have got one foot in the grave now. Hey, go over and stop him. Maybe we can pick up a ride. I'll get my clothes on. Hurry up. Freshwood girls. <laughs> we are too. A lot of weather we've been having lately. <laughs> <laughs> Only four months to Christmas. <laughs> you believe in Santa Claus? No. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I put my hand right? came aboard, and they've done nothing but annoy me all the way in. You run along home. Goodbye. Fiddling, huh? Well, we don't like your kind around these parts, and there's one thing we don't allow, and that's messing with our women. Now, if you want to stay healthy, you better catch the next coach out of town. Why, yes, sir. We'll be glad to, just as soon as we've finished with our business. And if you miss the next coach, you'll be riding out of here in a hearse. Good day, stranger. Good day, sir. Goodbye. Let Come well enough dance, alone. Silly bow. Come in, Mr. Francis. Come in, Mr. Francis. Silly bow. Left a glance. Bow. 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 Bow.
We have some very important news for her. Oh, what's it about? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir, but we're not supposed to discuss that with anyone but her. Yeah, you see, it's private. Her father died and left her a gold mine, and we're not supposed to tell anybody but her. See? Didn't we, Ollie? A gold mine? It's the biggest thing this Now that he's taken you into our confidence, you might as well know the rest. supposed to give it to her in person. What? I said, we've got the deed to the property at all. Say, you better show it to him. Maybe he doesn't believe us. It's the truth. Say, did I give you the deed? Oh, I know where it is. Excuse me. this Mary Roberts. Uh-uh. Good. Well, I'll go and find her for you, but don't tell a soul about it till I get back. We won't. Thank you. It's a good thing we found her. looking for Mary Roberts. What about it? They've got a deed to a very valuable gold mine left to her by her father, and they're here to deliver it to her in person. Well, ain't that just grand? It would be if you were Mary Roberts. I got you, but I'd never get away with it. Sure you would. They've never seen Mary Roberts. Then it's a cinch.
shoe on properly. What's the matter with it? I can't eat that meat. It's as tough as shoe leather. Can I do it? For a gold mine, I could be Cleopatra. That's the girl. Bring him up. I will have you. Oh. Hey, if you come upstairs, I'll introduce you to Mary Roberts. Right away, sir. Did you call me, Mr. Finn? No. Oh, no. Get back into the kitchen where you belong. Go ahead now. Don't bother. Listen to me, gentlemen. Come right this way. This way, gentlemen. Just uh, sit yourselves down and I'll go and get Lola. I mean, Mary for you. I've already told her the news and she's terribly shocked. Lola, they're here. They swell, kiddo. Put these in your arms. These are the gentlemen I was telling you about. Tell me. Tell me about my dear, dear daddy. Is it true that he's dead? Well, we hope he is. They buried him. Oh, it can't be. What did he die of? I think he died of a Tuesday. Or was it Wednesday? Do you remember? I'll handle this delicate situation. Little lady, you've heard the worst. Now prepare yourself for the best. Now cheer up. Smile. That's right. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. That's right. Any bird can build a nest, but it isn't everyone that can lay an egg. Is it, Ollie? That's right. Do you realize that you own one of the richest gold mines in the world? Oh. Your father left you the whole property. And he gave me the honor of presenting you with the deed. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Uncle Finn? Yes, my dear. <laughs> Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Mary. Mary Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Finn. One of these gentlemen dropped us at the foot of the stairs. Oh. Oh, my, thank you, little lady. You don't know what you've done. Thanks. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There you are. Signed, sealed, and now delivered. Oh, thank you so much. Not at all. Come, Stanley, we'd better be going. Yeah. Oh, say, what about the locket? That's right. We've I have something else for you. I almost forgot it. <laughs> And besides that, your father left you this family heirloom. Oh, yes, I, I remember it well. Help me get it off, sir.
Maybe I'd better try and open it again. I think so. Just a moment. clothes off, why don't you take a bath? Would you mind leaving the room? Can't I ever have a little privacy? Oh, I was just trying to kill two birds with one stone. And I'll take care of those two bozos and get them out of town. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. I've done pretty good up to now, haven't I? You certainly have. I wish you were in my shoes. <coughs> I oh, that... how about a drink on the house? That suits me fine. How'd you get dressed so quick? None of your business. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Roberts, and thanks for the use of your boudoir. You're very well. Goodbye. Now that you've got the mine, I bet you'll be a swell gold digger. <laughs> What's your leaving for? I'll send the right up. You have a fine night deed over to us. Oh, don't worry about me. Get those guys out of town and pronto. All right. What a cinch. Uh, give the gentleman the best in the house. Yes, sir. I'll be back in a minute. On a mountain in Virginia stands a lonesome pine. Just below is the cabin home of a little girl of mine. Her name is June, and very, very soon she'll belong to me. For I know she's waiting there for me neath that lone pine tree. Mountains of Virginia, on the trail of the lonesome pine, in the pale moonshine, a heart's entwine, where she carved her name, and I carved mine, or June, or June, just like the mountains of blue, like the pine, I am lonesome for you. Virginia, on the trail of the lonesome pine. In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, 
On the trail of the lonesome pine In the pale moonshine Our hearts entwine Where she carved her name And I carved mine Oh, June Like the mountains, I'm blue Like the pine I am lonesome for you Oh, don't mention it, darling. I'll run right along with your work. Yes, ma'am. Well, here's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got to be going. Well, so have we. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Finn. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. 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 Have a good time. Goodbye, Miss, uh, uh Miss, uh... Roberts. Mary Roberts. Goodbye, Miss Roberts. Goodbye. Did you hear what she said her name was? Sure, Mary Roberts. How can she be Mary Roberts when we've just given the deed to Mary Roberts? I don't know. I smell a rat. I smell something, too. Did you ever have a father by the name of Cy Roberts? Why, yes. He left me here with these people years ago when he went prospecting. Well, who's that woman upstairs? That's Lola Marcel, Mr. Finn's wife. She's my legal guardian now. Can I speak to you for a minute? Pardon us. Yeah, we'll be right back. I think we've given that deed to the wrong woman. That's the first mistake we've made since that guy sold us the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, buying that bridge was no mistake. That's gonna be worth a lot of money to us someday. Well, maybe you're right. We better go and get the deed. Say, maybe they won't give it back to us. What do you mean they won't give it back to us? We'll get that deed or I'll eat your hat. That's what I call determination. Come on. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> she fell for it like you fell for me. <laughs> Lola, my girl, we're sitting pretty. Who's that? Me. Me who? Uh, me who? Well, what do you want? Out of my way, you snake in the grass. You toad in the hole. Say, you slugs, what do you mean busting in here like this? We want to know why you are not Mary Roberts. I'll take care of this matter. So you got wise, huh? Well, if it's this deed you're after, you're just out of luck. <laughs> Get that back! Take it, Stan! Get it! No, Thank <laughs> you. 
the next coach out of town. Yes, sir. Well, it left 10 minutes ago. It did? Well, maybe we'd better try and catch it. We'll get it. Oh, right, right, sir. I don't think we're taking any chance going back there tonight and robbing that safe, do you? Chance or no chance, we've got to get that deed back. And just as soon as my clothes are dry, that's exactly what we're going to do. I think that's a good idea. You know, if that girl ever found out... Give me a light. Those matches are soaking wet. Thank you. <laughs> See if my clothes are dry. Well, that reminds me. You made a statement this afternoon. Did I? Mm -hmm. You said that if we didn't get the deed, that you'd eat my hat. Oh, now you're taking me literally. Nevertheless, I'm going to teach you not to make rash promises. Eat the hat. Oh, that's silly. Who ever heard of anybody eating a hat? Who ever heard of anybody doing that? Eat the hat. I won't do it. If you don't eat that hat, I'll tie you to a tree and let the buzzards get you. 
Would you really do that? I certainly would. Eat it. You want to go and push me in there like that for? You are the dumbest thing I ever saw. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we climb up on the shed, then we can get onto the balcony, and we can go in that door, and it'll save us going through the front. Now that deserves consideration. Thank you. 
Wait, I'll, I'll get a ladder for you. Won't be a minute. Shh. I'm going to get a ladder for you. Shh. Shh. We'll follow our original plan and go through the front way. Now go ahead. If I have another idea. If it's anything like the last one, yes. What is it? How about me pulling you up on the block and tackle? Daisy. Now don't get fancy. Just get me up there. Wait a minute, I'll spit on me hands. All right. end of that rope. Now hold out your hand. Hold out your hand. This one. Tie that on the mule. Tie that on the mule. Get on the mule. Get on the mule. Saddlebag. You better hand them to me. 
outside.
Now that our troubles are over, where do we go from here? Well, I'd like to go back to the town where I was born. Where is that? Way down south. Are you from the south? I sure am. Well, fan my brow. I'm from the south. You are? Mm -hmm. Well, shut my mouth. I'm from the south, too. South of what, sir? The south of London. London. Well, honey, we'll all go down to Dixie. Oh, for a slice of possum and yam. Ooh. Yes, sir, and some good old fish and chips. I can smell them. Fish and chips. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go way down in Dixie, where the hens are dog from bread to rain. Scramble eggs in the new morning. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see the home in Dixie. You can tell.
I know how to spell it. Then we're going. All right, we're going. You know we're going. Then we're going.